number four in the world, coming into stop number five as she takes on the GOAT. Stephanie Gilmore, the eight-time defending world champion, and also Lakey Peterson. Caitlin Simmers happy to be representing San Diego, California on the championship tour and the, the Grom of the tour. 17-year-old already has a championship tour win to her name. But gets to the uh, gets to the finish, so this is Katie. Nice open face wave. The youngster. Has she figured out Margaret River yet? Well, that was a nice snap under the lip. Just a little unstuck, just trips up on the final hit. Was the champ of the Margaret River event as we Watch the opener from Steph Gilmore firing out of the gates here. Oh, have a look at this. This is uh, just vintage Stephanie Gilmore. She's picked an absolute jam to start this heat off and really put some pressure on. But uh, Joe, if she wasn't surfing conservatively, look at here, just jams it. Didn't go too high, about two thirds up the face. Spray flying everywhere. Steph sets the rail again, drives around. This one had a cuppy little section on it. Look at Steph, just gets the tail release here. Angles the board back down, just textbook surfing here. And uh, you can see, much like Tyler, she is in attack mode. There is no defensive work going. Also in this opening exchange, Lakey Peterson. So Lakey, a nice swooping cutback to start things off. Drives hard off the bottom, tags the lip. Does she get the finish? Yes, she does, a little bit late. It's just adding to her confidence. I think she just believes that she's always gonna make the heat, no matter what the situation looks like. Gilmore, big forehand sweep. Still looking incredible here on wave number two. Throws down that beautiful frontside arc on the DHD. Stalls waits just to hammer the inside white water and did well there as she was running out of room. There's some cool energy coming off of Steph Gilmore right now, Richie. As we see the replay here, starting with Steph Gilmore. Okay, did you see how late she took off and that set up that first beautiful rail turn just holds it so well. And uh, see here, now she gets to come around it, gets that bottom turn, keeps that arm nice and low through the cutback. I keep piping on about it, but that, that allows you to hold that power under the rail. And again, nice swooping cutback. Steph just looking uh, in complete control here, super confident. And uh, just navigating through the bumps. Look at the arms, the wingspan, just the upper body rotation. And now she compresses through that final moment on the cutback. Redirects, get back on the toe side rail. Just the way she's holding speed through that transition, Joe, it's beautiful to watch. And uh, well, here we go, some more live action, Lakey. Lakey Peterson from Santa Barbara, California, sets up a beautiful down carve. Perfect transition of the rail right into a big wrap. Judges always appreciate that. Series of wrapping turns, and she'll just chip it off the top, and that's where she has to get out as it goes dry. One of the best styles ever in pro surfing. What do you see here from Lakey? Ah, yeah, very good. Gouging hack off the top. And again, just the way she held her speed uh, as she came off that bottom turn straight back into the second top turn was uh, exceptional technique. Love the water angle here, nice and low on the bottom turn, really spices it up. Gets straight back on the toe side rail. You can see Lakey's back arm goes a little bit higher as she does the turn. Really putting the pressure on there. Now she cuts it, jumps straight back on the toe side rail here, nice and low. And always special when a surfer doesn't do a two or a three stage bottom turn, they just hold the right. And she started being known as this progressive surfer these days. It's definitely about overall performance. As we see some beautiful waves coming through again, young Caitlin Simmers ends up bobbling off the top how many times he's been out here as a wild card as we'll get caught up here with Lakey Peterson. Yeah, Lakey looking to replace the 717. Does she do it here? It's up into that final hit, nice and vertical. We'll see what happened out the back from Caitlin Simmers. Yeah, Katie takes off on this one. Quite a bumpy looking wave. Nice swooping cut back to start off. This thing stands up in front of her. She gets a radical lip turn for the second hit. Throws everything at it for the third and I'm Whoa, well, she went down. Right over the bricks is Caitlin Simmers, and right back into action with that heavy foot. 
frontside arc. Lakey Peterson just taking this one to pieces through the inside. She's got that body torque wrap absolutely down, and she loves to lay it down at the Margaret River main break. She's fine for the lead against Gilmore, needing a 7.34 with 12.10 to go. Head in her hands, but Lakey, watch how aggressive these turns are. The first one just jams it hard. The second, perhaps even harder, Joe. So a great two-turn combination here, and then she does some nice work through the inside, gets to the finish. This is the best Lakey Peterson's look for me in a heat uh, all year. Just looks totally in control, so really taking that pressure on and, and converting it just into a beautiful surfing performance here in the opening round. Big body tour. With now three minutes on the clock here, we're going to see Lakey Peterson. She's still hot and just wants to keep surfing. Attacks the lip on the first section. Some chatter off the bottom. Huge, healthy wrap on the open face. Attacking that section. Changes gears with that lean back and steps off. You can tell she is hyped with adrenaline. She's feeling it. And enjoying main break. Waves on the way. Priority with Steph Gilmore. We'll see if Katie can try to pull off a big number right out into the buzzer here. Four seconds to go. There's the big sweeping cutback for Gilmore, who makes a smart decision to shut this one down over the grommet. Caitlin Simmers is going to have to go to the elimination round. Steph Gilmore in that second position with a big 8.67. But it was all about the Lakey show. Lakey Peterson throwing away two scores in the seven range. She didn't even need those for her victory as she goes into the round of 16.